know, when it comes to the auction, man, look at that. That's something else. Let's go ahead and walk inside. First off, I always look at the steps. See that rust and stuff down there? That means those steps have been out in the water a lot. Mud, water, gravel. And let's walk inside. This looks like something that everybody would be interested in buying. Wow. It's uh, pretty easy to tell that, yeah, somebody lived in this one. Ugh. And as a dealer, this is the kind of stuff that uh, somebody will buy. Somebody will clean this up. Uh, they may or may not fix the upholstery in it. Which, by the way, it doesn't matter if uh, you lived in it or not. That's pretty common. Your RV industry nowadays, they look at profits, not durability. And can I take a look at this upholstery? And those things right there. Yeah, these people definitely had an animal. I still think they probably had a chimney there somehow. But I don't know. Maybe it was something else. Oh, they had a bunk bed set up. Lovely. I'm afraid to go in the bathroom. I hadn't fell through the floor yet. Look in here. Ooh. Ah! Right there, cat food. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with living in an RV. I would live in an RV if my wife would let me. But, and maybe someday I'll get to. But man, take care of your stuff. I'm not opening that refrigerator. That could be really bad. Look at this sink. Look at these cat. Look at this right here. You see that? You see how it's bowed up? Oh, they left us a cooking thing. Don't laugh, I don't cook. The one thing they kept was the TV. 100 bucks. Uh, maybe 150, 200, Walmart. But it was important for them to keep that before they got repossessed. I mean, we're here, let's go on up. Do not leave the restroom to water stuff slowly. <laughs> uh, who are they telling that to, their kids? I don't know, maybe the husband? Funny. Let's sleep on that. Hey, my biggest point to this one here is, this is what your dealers are out there looking at. There are dealers that are gonna buy this. And there's people that are first time buyers that don't have a clue. They'll hide a lot of it. They can't hide all of it. Just be careful. Right off the bat, I noticed this. Uh, that right there shows you excessive usage and also I almost would have bet before I ever even went any further that this is something somebody's lived in. Again, always look underneath the slides and look for damage. And on your frame rails, you wanna look for rust and stuff like that. It'll kind of give you an idea of where it came from. But I know more than got around the corner here. And what did I see? Oh, we needed a window. No. What is that? I mean, I'm sitting there trying to figure it out. And I could be wrong. But doesn't that almost look like a chimney stack? Might have be coming out the side of that RV. And then, it's hard to tell. The little things. Notice the factory molding. <laughs> Do you notice where somebody put this piece of metal in there? And it looks like they spray painted it black. Huh. 
that's just one side of the RV. We haven't even got any further. All kinds of wires hanging off the top. No telling what they had up there. Look at that. See that junk inside of it? <laughs> Broken jack. I can tell you, we won't be buying this one. Turkey time with a deer quick and turkey time be a good and 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 be a good and